Talk about some of the city council races that we are following tonight. This is for city council district one. We are calling this race for uh, former First Coast News journalist uh, Ken Amaro. He will represent district one. And let's take a look at District 2. We have not yet called this race, uh, but right now with 42% of the vote, Mike Gay is in the lead. All right, let's uh, take a look now at District 3. The leading candidate at this hour, that is Will Lannon with 53% of the vote to Natalie Alden with 47%. Lots of city council seats up for grabs tonight. For the District 5 seat, Joe Carlucci, the Republican, uh, is in the lead 64% to Republican Morgan Roberts, who has 36% right now. Now let's take a look at District 6. Uh, Michael Boylan with 65% of the vote there. Uh, once again, Michael Boylan with 65% for District 6 tonight. And here's a look at the results as they're coming in for District 7. In the lead right now is uh, the Democrat, Jimmy Peluso. And next up, we have uh, District 8 there. Reggie Gaffney leading with 34% of the vote. Once again, this is for District 8. Reggie Gaffney Jr. And here is a look at the candidates for Jacksonville City Council District 9. In the lead right now, Mike uh, Mike Moulton is in the lead with 47, Moulton, excuse me, is with 47% of the vote. Yeah, Mike Muldoon there. Also taking a look for District 10, we have Jacoby Pittman uh, leading with 65% of the vote. And here's a look. This race has been called for District 11 for the Jacksonville City Council. Uh, this is Mr. Day with 43% of the vote right now. Once again, uh, Raymond Day with 43% uh, of the vote. In District 12, we are looking at Randy White, who is leading with 64% of the vote. And for District 14, here we have, uh, we have Mr. Johnson there with 46% of the vote, 30% for John Draper, and then Alberta Hips coming in there third. And for Jacksonville City Council's at-large group one, Terrence Freeman with 65% of the vote. And we are calling that one, of course, for Terrence Freeman tonight. Also, uh, Jack City Council at large, uh, Group 2, Ron Salem with 53% of the vote to Joshua Hicks, 47%. And for at large, Group 5, right now, here, is the here are the results. Chris Miller with 37% of the vote. And next up, we have Duval County property appraiser Joyce Morgan with 48% of the vote. Uh, Jason Fisher with 31%. I believe they will be going to a runoff.